In this video, we're going to write a C++ program to count the number of lines in a file. So here we have a file, and this file has five lines. We want our program to count the number of lines in this file. The first thing we'll do is declare a string variable called file name. And this variable is going to store the name of the file to open. We'll prompt the user to enter in the file name. We'll have C out and then file name colon. Then we'll use cin to store the file name that the user enters into the file name string variable. Now to open the file and read the contents of the file, we're going to use an ifstream object. To use an ifstream object, we'll first have to include the fstream library. So up here we'll have include and then fstream. Then down here, we can create our ifstream file object. We'll have here ifstream file. Now to open the file, we're going to use the open member function of this ifstream file object. We'll have here file.open file name. So here we're calling the open member function of the ifstream file object, and we're giving it the file name that the user entered as an argument. So it's going to attempt to open that file. If the file is open successfully, we can then read the contents of the file and determine how many lines are in the file. Now it's possible that opening the file could fail. So for example, perhaps a file with this file name doesn't exist. In that case, the fail member function of the ifstream file object is going to return true. So we can check for that. Here we'll have if file.fail is true. So if file.fail is true, we're going to exit the program with an error message and status. We'll have here C out and then file fail to open followed by an end line to inform the user why the program is stopped. Then we'll have return one to stop the execution of the program and return an exit status of one. We're going to return one instead of returning zero because returning one is actually a signal to the shell here, to the terminal, that something has gone wrong in the execution of our program. Next, we can read each line in the file and as we do, we can keep a running count of how many lines we've read. So we'll have a string variable line to store each line of the file that we read. We'll also have an int variable lines that we're going to initialize to zero. And lines is going to be used to keep track of how many lines are in the file. Next, we'll create a loop to read each line of the file. The ifstream file object has a member function called eof and the EOF member function is going to return true once we reach the end of the file. So we'll have a while loop with the condition not file dot EOF. So the EOF member function is going to return true once we reach the end of the file. So here we're saying, if that's not true, if we haven't reached the end of the file, then we're going to continue the loop. And what we'll do in the loop body is read the next line of the file. We'll use get line to do that. We'll have here get line and then file line. And the get line function is going to read the next line in the file and store it into the line string variable. We could output the line here. We could have C out and then line followed by an end line. Now because we've just read in a line, we're going to increment lines by one to keep track of how many total lines are in the file. Now, once this loop is done its work, we'll have read each line in the file and lines will contain the total number of lines in the file. We can now close our access to the file because we're now done working with it. So we'll have here file.close to close our access to the file. And then we can output the number of file lines. We'll have here C out total lines colon followed by lines followed by end line. So we can now save our program and test it out. Over here, we'll compile our program and then we'll run it. We'll enter in file.txt and we get total lines of five. And that is correct because our file.txt file does have five lines. So this is how we can count the total number of lines in a file using C++.
Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.